welcome to our special harvest service this morning. This week here in Wales we've entered a further lockdown, which I know a lot of people are very stressed about. But we can remember that God is still with us, and we're still very fortunate to be able to get all that we need. We're going to put that to one side this morning and have a celebration. The Swansea and Brecon Children, Youth and Families team are joined this week by leaders from St Thomas Church and members and leaders from the First Swansea Eastside Boys Brigade. We're going to begin our worship by singing our opening song this morning. Good celebrations begin with a game. So we're going to challenge some of our leaders this morning. This game is going to challenge their taste buds. We're going to give some of them two of the same food items but different brands and I want to see if they can tell the difference. So let's have a look. Here's Mark. Mark is working out which one is Diet Pepsi and which one is Diet Coke. So they smell different. This one smells like Coke, this one smells like old shoes. <laughs> but do they taste different? They taste the same, but this one smells more like Diet Coke. Right, so which one is Diet Coke? B. B is Diet Coke, A is Diet Pepsi. Um, here is Craig, and he is going to work out whether these coffees are from 
Starbucks or Costa? Costa, Starbucks. Here's Jeanette, her challenge is, one is Flora, and the other one is Lurpak Butter. So Flora or Lurpak. <laughs> Multiple bites. Flora Lurpak. Here I am with my taste test. I got crisps, so I've got um, uh, apparently Walker's crisps or own brand crisps. Now, judging by the look of them, I think I can probably guess, but we'll do a taste test as well. I do like crisps. Mm. Nice. Also nice. My conclusion is that they're both crisps, but clearly this one's got a bit of posh one compared to this one. Well, they're both crisps, both good enough for me. This is, this is Matt, Bobby and Wes testing um, ja real Jaffa Cakes versus home brand Jaffa Cakes. Okay, so if you want to take, this is A. Don't worry, they've sanitised their hands. And then if you want to put A in your left hand or something and then B in your right hand. Okay, would you like to take a bite of A? Feel free to savour the flavour. And now take a bite of B. <laughs> okay, and the real Jaffa cake is, where's? B. B, Bobby? B, B as well. B. We have so much choice with the food that we buy. There are shelves full of every single item. It's such a confusing amount of choice and one guaranteed to shock many of those from other parts of the world where there's barely one brand of every type and therefore no choice at all. Supermarkets are certainly full of the harvest and it seems that we need to keep building more and more shelves that, so that we can accommodate everything. I'm just going to redo that last bit. And it seems that we need to keep building more and more shelves so that we can accommodate everything. Jesus once told a story about all this. He told it to two brothers who were arguing over money that had been left to them. Slow down, says Jesus. Don't you realise that having lots of things, having more and more choices, isn't going to save you? Listen. This is the rich farmer who owned lots of land. This is a seed that belonged to the rich farmer who owned lots of land. This is the harvest of wheat grown up from the seed that belongs to the rich farmer who owns lots of land. These are all the small bands that tried to store the harvest of wheat, grown from the seed that belonged to the rich farmer who owned lots of land. These are the larger bands, built instead of the small bands, that tried to store the harvest of wheat, grown from the seed that belongs to the rich farmer who owned lots of land.
and these are the truly massive barns put off to take the place of the larger barns built instead of the smaller barns that try to store the harvest of wheat eat grown from a seed that, that belonged to the farmer the rich farmer that owned lots of land this is the sound of the all-night party in the big house not far from the truly massive barns built instead of the small barns that tried to store the harvest of wheat grown from the seed that belonged to the rich farmer who owned lots of land. So this is the sound of the silence after death interrupted the sound of the night party at the big house. Not far from the truly massive barns, put up to take the place of the large barns, built instead of the small barns that tried to save the store, the harvest of the wheat, grown from the seeds that the rich man gave. Who would have forgotten that the most important thing in life was to be rich in the sight of God? Well, you've seen our leaders uh, try taste tests. I wonder how you would go on. Maybe ask mum or dad or grandma or grandpa to do a little taste test for you today. But because it's harvest this week, we are looking at what is important in God's eyes. And if you went to a supermarket and there was only one brand of stuff, would that make much of a difference in your life? At the moment, we live in a lockdown time where we're only allowed to go out to get some essential items. And it's really interesting for us to have a think about in our own lives what is essential. What can't we live without? Because I think that quite often we uh, take for granted what we have in our homes, our favourite foods, our favourite clothes, uh, internet uh, our favourite computer games and all those kind of things. And I'm going to ask you a question this morning. If your house was on fire, what would you grab as you run out of the house? Would you make sure you grabbed your Walker's crisps in case you could only get some own brand? Would you grab your, uh, I can't believe it's not butter, or your Lure Pack? What would you grab? What would be important to you? Rachel asked me this question a few weeks ago, and this is what I said. Harvest is a time for us to give thanks to God for all the good things that we have in our life. All the good things in our families, in our friends, uh, in our homes, things like electricity and running water and light. But particularly it's a good time to think about all the food and drink that we have. I wonder for a moment could you think about your favourite food right now? And give thanks to God for that. One of my favourite foods is pizza. And whenever I get pizza, I give thanks to God for that. In fact, in the vicarage here, we often give thanks to God for our food. Uh, in fact, I play a little song uh, and sing up a grace. That's a fun way of thanking God for our food and on our drink. But harvest is also an opportunity for us to think about all those people who make our food, those who work in our supermarkets, those who work on our farms, those who work growing our vegetables and doing our farming for us, those who go around the world to gather food to bring it to our homes. And while we think about those around the world, we should also remember those people who are hungry, those people locally in our community who need to use our food bank, and those who are hungry around the world and harvest is also a time just for us to stop and say sorry to God and to each other for the times when we don't share. But today, let us be thankful to God for the food that we're going to enjoy today and in the coming days and weeks. Be thankful for those who make it and bring it to our table. In Jesus' name. Amen.
for providing us with such lovely food in this harvest. Thank you for everybody who helped to grow the food in this harvest. Thank you for providing us with such lovely food. I hope my neighbours, friends and family enjoy this harvest. Help us Lord, not just to crave more and more, but to want to give as much as we get. Help all those working to put an end to hunger in the world. May we always be quick to help those in trouble. May we always be ready to bless those that are less well off than ourselves. We pray in the name of our special King Jesus. And so we draw our prayers together as we pray. Father Creator, we come before you today giving thanks for your provision and goodness to us this harvest time. We are grateful for your love that not only provides for our needs, but also makes a way for us to know you through Jesus Christ. It's easy in difficult days to lose focus on what you have given us. We pray today, as we look to your creation, a wonderful gift, that we will learn to be thankful for our world. We thank you that you are a good father who has given us everything we need. Forgive us for doubting you, for worrying and trying so hard to work everything out for ourselves. Help us to trust you more. Mm. Help us in our unbelief. Help us to help others and to share and care as you taught us. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so as we go from here this week, may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon us and remain with us this day and always. Amen. Well, just as a way of notices this week, it's great to have you all with us. Um, this next two weeks, we have been meeting for morning prayer, but we're obviously not allowed to do that now. So we're going to do uh, Luke during lockdown. And Luke during lockdown means that we're going to study the book of Luke every day. We want to encourage you to read along with us. So Monday to Saturday, we want you to read a chapter of Luke's gospel in the morning and in the evening. Uh, and uh, you can do that at home. Uh, you do that in your own time. And then really just have a ref uh, think about what that passage might mean for you today uh, when you reflect on the life of Jesus. And Monday to Friday, all next week and the week after, 8am, uh, we'll be live doing morning prayer where we'll share a reflection on that passage for the day uh, to give you a hand at going through it. That'll be on Zoom and also on our YouTube channel. So if you want the links, just check them out on our social media. Also, with regards to our children and youth activities, uh, hopefully Boys Brigade will be back on Wednesday the 11th of November. Uh, Wednesday the 11th of November, all, all sections will be back that day, all in St Thomas Church. God willing, with government restrictions removed. Uh, but that's what we're hoping for. Also to say that very soon we'll be launching our new toddler group. Uh, that will also be in the new St Thomas Church as well. But more details about that soon. Also, some of you Boys Brigade boys and girls have been helping out uh, in our harvest competition. And we're now delighted to announce those people who've won. Now sit. Hold up. Come here. Up. Sit. Stay. Stay. Touch it. Good girl. Massive congratulations to all those who won, and thank you so much for putting all your hard work into it. Just say also that on a Tuesday, uh, this Tuesday coming and Tuesdays ongoing at 7 o'clock, again we're going to be live on Zoom and on our YouTube channel for uh, a period of worship and prayer. Uh, do join us and again keep out looking out on our social media. That's all our notices for this week. In my wrestling and in my doubts In my failures you won't walk out 
Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. In the silence, you won't let go. In the questions, your truth will hold. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea. My lighthouse, my lighthouse, shining in the darkness. I will follow you. to show Sure.